Good afternoon. It is 12.27 p.m. on Monday the 29th of July and it and is time, time for... And it's time So how are ya? So how are ya? <laughs> Please stop leaning on the side of my chair. Um, um. <sighs> Have the watch something for No, I know, and you're still not going to watch something for ages. Mm. So, I did last night my night care and my watered the garden. Well, I fed the garden actually. I, I went out there and gave it plant food. No, it needs water. Yes, it had food as well, bossy. It doesn't like food. So, yesterday I managed 7,000, which was quite good really, considering that by sort of tea time I hadn't, I had done like about 200 steps. Because <gasps> I was sat here playing with stuff. I made, what did I do yesterday? Um, where is it? I made a bag full of little tags. No, I'm not putting the TV on today. I told you that. Why to put the TV on or I won't be happy. Oh dear. That's so sad, but that's the way life goes, I'm afraid. No, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't! Right. So, last night I did the dishwasher. And that was about it. What did we do yesterday? I was all creative and stuff, wasn't I? I did lots of creatoring. I stuck that in. There you go, that's the picture of Neil. And I stuck it on the car. I should have stuck it the other way, but I didn't realise I was going to do an upy downy flippy like that. Um, so yeah, I just stuck it in like that. So I think I'm going to put crafting. Only got two more days left of this month and then we are in august so this week is done i last night made my writing board uh, there is a video for that and here it is since i made the board i have rounded off two of the corners but i'm thinking this is going to be too big because it's huge it's not like i can tuck it in my folder when I put it away so I am probably going to cut this down to A5 size but I'm going to test it out first because I'm not sure if I've actually made it a bit too thick <laughs> so I need to test it out so we are now in this week let's see I coloured in that so let's change the pen we're going into the pink spectrum of the uh, packet of pens now We'll do a flip through of this one soon. Oh, weather. Right. <clears throat> I didn't flip through June or July simply because there was a lot of personal stuff in there about Stuart and all that lot. And it, it was stuff I didn't really want to share. Um, so I just thought, do you know what? I'm just not going to flip through it at all rather than trying to hide bits of it. Overcast? Are you kidding me? I can see one cloud about that frickin' big. Right, what the, the times are? <clears throat> oh five twenty six. So eight fifty five. What earth are you playing with? Don't put that away, please. Yeah. Overcast. This is bloody ridiculous. And if you click today, it says sunny. So I'm gonna put sunny because it is certainly not. A, there, there is literally like, it's a tiny cloud and it's over there. Blue skies other than that. So yeah, that app is full of shit. We have a high of 23, although it feels warmer. And a low of 17, so it's gonna be warm tonight then. So there we go. Right, so far today 
I have put on day face cream and that's about it. I am sitting, well I'm not sitting, I've been doing my stepping. That's why I'm already at sort of six and a half thousand. Watching, um, what's her name? 49 Dragonflies, which was recommended to me by Wendy. I'm going through her junk journal playlist, which she only started at the beginning of this year and she's up to like a hundred and something episodes. Free! I'm on episode nine. So we are going to do a card. Um, I've written a personal note there, uh, referencing the, the card I pulled the other day, but that's it. We're not going to talk about that because it's personal. Not to me, but to somebody else. So is Monday the 29th. No, it's not for you. Be quiet. Who is this for? You're the one doing it for you. You are in a very stroppy mood. Will you go play in your room for a minute? You're not the one who's playing your watch I know. You're me. <laughs> okay. The other issue I've got with this is I haven't got anywhere to put it. My desk is absolutely crammed full of junk at the moment. I'm waiting <laughs> a new pen case because I am spurting out of this one. Yes, I've done that green, done turquoise, yellow, yellow, green, oh, like even though you guys can't read that. She looks quite knowledgeable, doesn't she? She looks like she knows what she's talking about. She looks like she's a teacher. She's very, very clever. But compassionate, she's wearing a ribbon on her collar. This is a card that's saying to you, don't be afraid to show that you know you're actually quite a smart person. Um, if this isn't you, then it's somebody that you know in your life, maybe. Um, it'd be an older woman. Um, or a, or a woman that you look up to. Okay, oh, she's sensible, she's disciplined. No. I'm talking, please You're wait a minute. Okay, all right, I'm in jail. Um, she's disciplined, she's um, she's intelligent, um, but like I said, she's compassionate. She's got the ribbon on her, on her collar there, and she's studying what looks like medicine, you know. Um, Hold on, Mom. I'm a hero. So, yeah, this is somebody who, who might seem to be calm. Mom quite Don't aloof worry. excuse me but they're not they're they're actually quite they're, they're, there's there's a very warm you. heart in there you. could you be quiet please yeah. Yeah. let's try me board out <laughs> i see you now you're in you're not in no more So I put there an older woman, disciplined but with a big heart, someone to look up to. Now do I dare film? No! I am not going to film on! Uh, Daryl, don't keep on! Seriously, give it a rest! Goodness sake! felt quite accomplished yesterday so I think we're going to put your step button eight because I made me bored and I made some tags and or tabs should I say um, 
was a bit stiff when I went to bed though, so I'm gonna put my paint at around a seven again. No, it's very cross because I won't let him watch a film. So, Ow. so I'm sort of wondering do I now set up for um August over the course of today or shall I wait until Wednesday which is my live which is literally like the last day of July and that doesn't give me a lot of time to sort of fill it up if I do it now I could set up next week in the live if I do if I leave the the monthly one until the live it's going to, it's going to be there for quite a while right I got to sleep probably about 1 30 I was in a lot of pain last night the restless legs and feeling very very crappy and then I was awake again from about three to a half three because Daryl came in and then let's see that says two and a half nine but I probably have been awake since about eight o'clock I just didn't want to get up I just wanted to get up um I just wanted to get up I didn't well I wanted to because you were late born every day so far today I have cleaned the loo and I've put the laundry on. My friend's picked up some black from somewhere. Lovely. Probably my ruler. Okay, so we are now on my little half week. I have nothing in <laughs> for this week. Even the second half of next week, I don't. I've got to set up August. That's the only thing that I've got to bring forward. Oh, there goes my washing machine. So I'm going to put that there because I don't have room for a, um, a list. So, yeah, um, I'm going to put a poll up in, yeah. in the iCards. If you click it, it should say, what do you want me to do in the live? Set up week 32? Or set up August. Vote quick because otherwise I'm going to sort of spend tomorrow getting it done really because we're in some holidays now and we don't really have a lot to do so yeah so you let me know. Okay so let's jump. Come here, you. And you. You were in that one as well. Who's that? Me. Yeah. Mom where were we? Who's that? Do you remember his name? Yeah. I don't know who's Is that name. Neil? Yeah! That's it, that's Neil. Right, so... And, and, and Emma's friend came kind of down. There's Emma's daughter came down. Yeah, yeah. not her friend. Right, I have, I'm trying to get into the habit of tucking my stencil away because I'm really, really bad at it. What day so, is it? It is Monday the 29th of July. I'm having some ideas on how to make my journal more art-like. Um, yeah, so I don't know whether to sort of tell you or to whether to just jump in and see what you like, what you think rather. So the challenges for today a seahorse, that's the word, seahorse, a pygmy puff, Harry Potter and a microphone for the um, oh so cute doodles I really wish I'd drawn this one as an all-in-one picture you know because you could have drawn a stage with the drum kit and the tambourine and, and the microphone and all the stuff on it you could have had your hippie holding your Woodstock or bust with the logo on it um you could have the who on the drum i really wish i'd done that if i thought thought ahead i, I would have done but um you could have had janice joplin on stage with the who you know vw van in the corner your hippie wearing the dashiki that's the only thing i didn't draw was the dashiki 
but yeah you know if, if you'd sort of planned it out you could have made this a really nice big double spread it would have looked fucking great i think but i I'd, I'd hope someone's done it like that i really do so i need to do a microphone a pygmy puff and seahorse also need to look to see if there are any challenges that are grabbing my interest for next month i will do a writing one at least um simply because i've got a couple of fonts that i copied from i think they're from jashi jashi corin like she did this really cool um aztec star one and then she did this one as well and then these two I'd like, I would like to have got that one, definitely. I asked her where she found that. She found it on Google. So, yeah. So I'll definitely find a right one and I will pick. So which, which font also do you think I should pick? One, two, three, or four. So it's two poles up in the corner. Which font and what should we do in the live? If you don't answer, then I will pick and you'll have to suffer watching it all next month. Right, I'm off and I will see you in the evening review later on. Have a fantastic rest of your day. decided to make a sparkly pygmy puff and I panicked a bit because the ink started to come through I didn't think and I used ink dry pens um this is a photo of Kyle my eldest at the bar uh, at the barbecue at the carnival uh where's my focus doohickey hang on just a second And here's uh, the shop that he works for, the charity shop that he works for. They decided to do Footloose throughout the carnival. So I wrote Carl doing his Kevin Bacon impression. Gotta get Footloose. And um, that photo was taken by our local newspaper. So I um, posted up on the internet. So I had to stick it in and without even thinking about it, I just wrote in all that right in. And it wasn't until I went to paint I didn't even think about putting my pygmy puff somewhere else. So, oh, I don't know when you can see this ghosting through. I had a play with some stamps today. Last time I had a play with some stamps, um, you might remember I used those little, little typograph type ones um, and it went right through and it went through Tom Waver of paper and the other paper that I've been using in my books. And I was a bit pissed off and I put, oh, I don't know, I'm fucking, you know, I won't be able to use those in my journal. So I had a practice with them today because I thought, well, I'm sure the distress inks didn't go through when I tested them. And they didn't. Not the drier ones, anyway. The wetter ones did. Okay, the gungier ones. The newer ones, if you like. They went through. 
I'm whiting out really badly. Sorry about the shake, people. Um, yeah, the wetter ones did come through. The archive links came through, but I think that's because they're wet. So I grabbed a piece of paper and secondary stamped. That's in um, Grand Espresso and that's in Jet Black. And it didn't come through. So I think that's the trick. So what I did was I secondary stamped that. And at first I was a bit like, oh, it's come out really patchy and it looks a bit shit. But if I'd done that in the Grand Espresso, that would look quite vintagey, I thought. Yeah, and also I turned this into a book. Um, the other day I picked up this, which is about the carnival, which, like I just said, my son was in. So I took the staples out and I sewed it into the back of this poster because they both happened on the same day and I didn't want to split them up. So you've got the poster there and then if you fold it as you go over, it's holding the book. I sewed the book in. I was quite chuffed with that idea. I thought that was quite good. But yeah, that's, you know, it's got the carnival roots and you know all of that lot and stuff about the carnival king and queen and prince and princess and where to park and a couple of adverts and the illuminated carnival which isn't until next month and um yeah I was, I was quite pleased with that idea because i had the back of the poster that was quite blank so i was like oh what can i do with it what can i do with it and i came up with that idea which i thought was rather inspired don't you know anyway <laughs> let's go back to the beginning and go through and see what I've done I've done the weather I did not wear makeup but I have done the challenges yay me we've had another day at home actually it's quite nice we quite often do this the first sort of full week of the summer holidays don't really do much don't go out much um I haven't had booze either and I won't be having any. Um, did anybody else do that? Like the first week of the school holidays you don't actually do much, you don't go out anywhere, you just become lazy bums. I've had fizzy and caffeine, I uh, haven't had chips. But yeah, it's like Daryl doesn't get dressed and we don't go out if we can help it. So. <laughs> uh, right, 29th today. Mood, mood is, I'm gonna put seven because my mood dipped slightly earlier on. Pain's not too bad, so I think I'm gonna put that at about a four. I must get some more Tombos. I especially want the grey set. So then um, I can do like realistic looking drop shadows and stuff like that. I uh, didn't write in yesterday's steps. 7,234 or 2.56 miles. And I also didn't draw my lines so yeah how do you mark like the beginning of time off school and you know when your kids have time off and stuff like that do you immediately start arranging the holidays and right we're going to do all this planned shit I did that last year planned a shitload of stuff for us to do and it was so goddamn hot I didn't leave the house we just couldn't it was we here in England we are not used to temperatures over 30 degrees centigrade so when it got that hot we just like all sheltered in our in our homes whimpering <laughs> yeah okay so guess what it's a clean sweep I have done everything I did it all just before I came on, just so that I could mark it all off. <laughs> I did honestly. Whilst <laughs> I'm determined to have a couple of decent fucking days on this thing. And I know I did it, you know, back here I almost got it. But I haven't actually 
done an entire fucking day all month so I put Daryl to bed and I said to him don't get up when you hear me talking to YouTube and he was like mm, gobble, gobble, gobble. and then I came downstairs and I went in the kitchen wiped the t surfaces down um, went cleaned the TV wiped his table down and then washed the floor <laughs> excuse me hello hello how was training very good I can't remember where we were. <laughs> yes. After. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Daryl. Um, yes, I filled it out today. So I'm quite pleased about that. Um, gonna, oh, my page has torn a little bit. I was in trouble with the elastic. Where it's in the elastics. I don't know whether my elastics are too tight because it gets quite bulky or what. But anyway. Um, what can my word for today be? <gasps> Shopping. No, AliExpress. <laughs> You'll know why soon, in a few weeks. I might have done a little bit of shopping. I totally blame Wendy. Because Wendy said, go and watch 49 Dragonflies. She does a lot of junk journaling. So I did, and and then I went and shopped. <laughs> Spent a fortune. Okay, so I added a few things to my uh, to-do list. Set up August and the Bujo challenges are already there. I want to make a spiral lock. Um, a spiral lock is a, it's like a hairband for dreadheads. And what it is, is it's basically like my woolly dreads, which I don't think I've got any in at the moment. They've all come out. Ah, so it's like one of these, but it's got a wire down, down the centre of it so that you can basically tie up your hair and then you just bend it into place, like a pipe cleaner. But you've covered it with fabric or fibre or whatever. And I've got all the equipment I need. I just need to make it. And all that entails is getting the fibre wet, putting the bit of wire down the middle and then just rolling it like that until it all felt it's easy peasy won't take long at all i made all the woolies that i wear um and i wear several different ones i got the one in at the moment i should have to do something about that they had a bit of color so i need to make one of those i need to sort out my laundry i have three piles of laundry in the hallway i'm doing it and i'm folding it and then i just dump it in the hallway i have three piles in the hallway and i have um pretty much daryl's entire wardrobe in my massive laundry box in my room I need to do that um, I need to get Alex's work rotor and I need to find out what nights that wrestling training is on so that I can anticipate when Alex is not going to be here he tells me every week but my brain is like this and I forget so I know he has trainings on Monday nights because he's just been <laughs> um, and um, Saturdays as well and I think it might be on Wednesday it's probably on the website I can put it off the website it's just a case of doing it so that I know I also wrote in my challenges um, because it's different each day at the moment um, and I can't remember what I've got to do so instead of me keep on to access the event now they've fucked it up on Facebook I've just written it in here so today we had to get green by noon I only managed to get one thing green by noon tomorrow we have to get as many calories as possible in the space of five hours on Wednesday there's a beach bingo and then if you skip to August Thursday it's double or triple your goals and then Friday is green by noon again. I have also set up the weekend. I will be going live. Okay. So there it is. It is there in purple. I will be going live. And I haven't so much as set up the races but I've set up part of it so I'm going to cross that so that I've done some of it okay so that is about it this makes it so freaking bulky Let's see how that's dried out now oh, that's not too bad you can't really see it I quite like that it's my pick me path so let's take a photo of this we'll upload it to Instagram I took a photo of that already We'll upload this to Instagram. Let's do that now. Well, I'll take a photo now. Hint for you. If you're taking photos for Instagram, 
take it with your actual camera first and put your camera into square mode because Instagram is square pictures and then you just line it up above it like so try not to get your phone's shadow in the process and take the photo and then what you have you can just upload that straight to Instagram there you go there's your Sam's handy hint for today now oh, I've got play, I think. Um, yes, I've got a shitload of stuff coming I've, I've been a bit naughty actually and I've shopped on I've shopped on Amazon and um an Australian site for some stamps, some letter stamps, and another stamp site here in the UK, and AliExpress. <laughs> so I've got loads of shopping coming, um, which is awesome. And um, yeah, so I probably do a haul at some point. One of the things I've got is coming is a replacement for my pencil case because my pencil case sits open. I don't ever close it because I'm not quite sure that I can now because it's got so much stuff in it so i've ordered a delphonics pouch i ordered a medium and i just hope that is going to be big enough um <laughs> but yeah, this is ridiculous that it just it, yeah so that sits there in the corner and it doesn't ever shut it just sits there and i just chuck stuff in <laughs> and that's about it really but the elastics where i keep my most used pens are annoying me so i want to get a delphonics pouch because it's got pockets on the outside and the idea is, is that I'm going to put most of my junk inside and then my most used pens, like my pit artist pens and that, can just slot in the outside. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe I can move my Tombows and a few other things over into it as well, just to give myself a little bit more room. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. So there you go. Um, I think that's about it. Don't forget to vote in the polls, please, up in the... up, 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 up there. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, vote in the polls. Tell me what you want me to do on Wednesday during the live. And um, what's the other poll? Oh, yeah, what font you want me to do uh, next month? The theme is going to be summer. Well, it's literally the only, the only thing I use the theme on, to be honest, guys, is my mood tracker, isn't it? because I don't really do a theme on that page. I don't do a theme on that page. That will be set. So for my mood tracker, oops, I'm going to draw lots of little suns. Maybe a few clouds. But no, it, I think I'd do all suns with smiley faces and then we can just, or just do blank suns and then I can fill in the smiley faces afterwards as to whether it was good or not. Color code it like this and then, um, colour code it pain wise and then just mm, how should we do this if I colour code it on pain and then do facial expressions for the mood it'd have to be all quite light colours though so it would show up mm. what do you think that might work I don't think I would manage 10 moods, but you know, you could have happy, sad, crying, angry, sleepy, poorly. That's six. So that's not bad. I'm sure, I can come up with a couple more. Yeah. That might work. What do you think? Do you think that'll work? Hmm, I do. You need to comment down below. Okay. I'm going to leave that here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because you know we like the thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, especially Lead Owls Kisses. Don't forget those. Click the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears down below and YouTube's in a good mood, <coughs> uh, yeah, right. you'll be notified when we upload new content. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I will see you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Pujo. Take it easy, guys.